Hi everybody, it's Allison with the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Thanks for joining me for Science Storytime today. Today our story is called Good Night, Good Night Construction Site by Sherry Dusky Rinker and Tom Lichtenheld. Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. Down in the big construction site, the tough trucks work with all their might. To build a building, make a road, to get the job done, load by load. The sun has set, the work is done. It's time for trucks to end their fun. So one by one, they'll go to bed to yawn and rest their sleepy heads. Then wake up to another day of rough and tough construction play. Working hard to help his team, crane truck raises one last beam. Reaching, stretching, lifting high, he swings the beam into the sky. He'll set it down right on its mark, then off to bed. It's almost dark. He slowly folds his boom back in, and then with one last sleepy grin, he tucks himself in nice and tight, sigh, then cuddles up and says good night. Shh, good night, crane truck, good night. Spinning, churning all day long, cement mixer sings his whirly song. Now, yawn, he's weary and so dizzy from the fun that keeps him busy. With one last spin, he pours the load. He's ready now to leave the road. He takes a bath, gets shiny bright, pulls up his chute, turns off his light. He cuts his engines, slows his drum, and dreams sweet dreams of twirly fun. Shh, good night, cement tr mixer, good night. Dump truck loves to work and haul. He carries loads both big and small. He moves the dirt from place to place, then dumps it with a happy face. One final load spills on the heap, crunch. Now dump truck's tired and wants to sleep. He lowers his bed, locks his gate, rests his wheels, it's getting late. He dims his lights, then shuts his doors, and soon his engine slows to snores. Shh, good night, dump truck, good night. Pushing with his mighty blade, bulldozer works to smooth the grade. He clears the way to level ground and fills the air with thunderous sound, roar. No one's as tough and strong as he, but now he's sleepy as can be. He puffs some smoke out of his stack, then turns off his engine and stops his track. He curls into his soft dirt bed and dreams of busy days ahead. Shh, good night, bulldozer, good night. Scooping gravel, dirt, and sand, excavator shapes the land. He digs and lifts throughout the day, arg, but now it's time to end his play. A few more. A few more holes to dig in soon, he'll roll to bed beneath the moon. He twirls upon his bumpy track, pulls up his boom, stretches his back. He sets his scoop down on the ground and snuggles up without a sound. Shh, good night, excavator, good night. These big, big trucks so tough and loud, they work so hard, so rough and proud. Tomorrow is another day, another chance to work and play. Turn off your engines, stop your tracks, relax your wheels, your stacks and backs. No more huffing and puffing, team. It's time to rest your heads and dream. Construction site all tucked in tight. The day is done. Turn off the light. Great work today. Now shh, good night. The end. You won't need your hard hat for this one because today's challenge is something really fun and really easy to do. It's a simple machine scavenger hunt around your house. My challenge for everybody today is even though we love our big mega machines and our good night, good night construction site, it's to explore around your house, maybe in the garage, the kitchen drawers, down in the basement, and see if you can find an example of 
all of the six basic types of simple machines. Simple machines are really cool because they're devices that don't use any sort of moving parts or very minimal amount of moving parts that help us do work and do it a lot easier. Now, simple machines, they aren't big like our mega machine friends and they don't need to be plugged in or charged on a battery, but they can help us do, do work and do it a lot easier. The way they do this is actually not getting rid of the amount of work that we need to do, but they change the amount of force, the amount of effort, or how hard we need to push and pull to make the work happen. So as you explore around your house today, I'm gonna to challenge you to find an example of all six of the basic types. The wheel and axle, the lever, pulleys, wedges, incline planes, and screws. So I'm gonna head out and start exploring on my own simple machine scavenger hunt and see what examples of the six basic simple machines that I can find around my house. And I challenge you guys to do the same. If you want, just do a simple sketch or feel free to take pictures of what you find and tag us on social media at rockrmsc. Thanks so much for reading along with me and for science story time today. My name's Allison and I'm with the Rochester Museum and Science Center and we'll see you next time.